Hey friends, it's Lane. Welcome back to my channel. sharing with you today. One of them is this beaded uh, hanger on this Ray Dunn heart ceramic piece that I found at a TJ Maxx. So I'm going to share with you how I actually added the handle because believe it or not, it did not come with a handle. It already had the two holes, but there was no way to actually hang this on my wall. So I DIY'd this wooden bead garland um, hanger so that I could actually hang it on a hook on my pantry wall so that we could decorate with it and fill up all of our um, love letters that we're going to be getting. Maybe, I don't know, will we? We'll see. So um, that is a piece that actually I bought and then added something to it. And then the other thing that I'm going to be sharing with you today along the same theme is a beaded tassel um, that you can create. Now this is simply made out of wooden beads and I painted some of the beads and I actually left them blank. And then I added this cute little coffee mug ornament or embellishment on it. And I'm gonna share with you today how you can create wood beads for home decor in your home with the tassels on the end. You can display these like I have on a tiered tray or on your coffee station or on any kind of like couch um, table that you may have or a console table. You can put them in lots of places throughout your home and you can make them seasonal with the different holidays or you can actually do them for year round. So I'm going to show you how you can make these DIYs. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of any upcoming videos that I post. And let's go ahead and get started with today's DIYs. Okay, so this is the TJ Maxx heart that I found. It had the holes already in it and I just thought it would be super cute with a wooden bead hanger. So I've purchased the beads from my local craft store. You can purchase them from Michaels or Joann's or you can even get them on Amazon, which I will link down below. I then coordinated three colors that I liked and laid out a pink, a blue, and a white and put the beads on a metal skewer that I had and then got to painting. I found that it was easier if you held the beads upright on the skewer to kind of paint all the way around the edges of each of the beads. Once I did each one, I decided to let them dry and then moved on to painting the wood cutout pieces that I was going to be attaching to the end of my tassels. So I did decide to paint both sides of the house here and the coffee mug shape that I had. And that's just because I wanted it to be able to not be noticeable from both sides. And then you can see here, I just set it to dry. Once everything was dry, I came back and then used a pipe cleaner to attach the beads to my Ray Dunn piece. And here I just doubled it up. I actually did two pipe cleaners together and then made sure it was really secure and wrapped really tight around the first loop there and then gauged about how long I wanted the handle to be. I ended up leaving one of the skewers of beads natural. I just liked that color combo once I painted the first two. And then I strung the beads onto the pipe cleaner into a little bit of a pattern, just alternating the beads. And then I secured the pipe cleaner end, uh, wrapping it around several times to make sure that it would hold onto the piece. And then that was pretty much it for this TJ Maxx Ray Dunn find. Moving on to the beaded tassel, once my wood pieces were dry, I took a little bit of scrap vinyl and cut out uh, some words in a similar Ray Dunn looking font, which I will link that down below. And if you guys want a tutorial or something on how to find these fonts to use with your Cricut or Silhouette machine, just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to create that. So for the, ha for the house, I did the word home, and for the coffee cups, since it's Valentine's Day themed, I did the word love. 
Then using some of this Dollar Tree twine, I pulled a bunch of it off and started making my tassels. To make a tassel, I just used the four fingers that I had on my right hand and wrapped it around several times. I wanna say about 30 or 40 times before I had a good amount that I wanted or was you know, happy with. Then I took another piece of twine and basically cut off uh, a piece to tie my loop together just to kind of hold it all in place and you can see that's what I'm doing here once I had that secured then I made a little loop out of that same piece and this was going to be the loop or like the charm holder to holding the the tassel onto my strand and you can see how I did that here then I squished it all together and took another small piece of twine and just tied it off at the very top of my tassel and then I took uh, some hot glue and secured the twine in place, wrapping it and gluing as I went. And you can kind of see how I'm doing that here. I'm just now uh, tying off the piece of string or the twine and then double knotting it so it stays in place and then wrapping it around the entire tassel and securing it with hot glue. Once that was complete, I wrapped it all the way around and then with hot glue secured the end down and you'll see here I just kind of tapped it with my finger to kind of glue the twine together to the actual top of the tassel. Then cut the loop at the bottom and trim your tassel so that all of the pieces line up to be about the same in length. And you can see that here. What you're left with is the tassel with a nice loop at the very top so that you can string it onto your strand of beads. I made two tassels and with one of the tassels, I decided to actually add some additional ribbon that I had lying around since that second tassel was going to be the tassel that did not have the wood mug shape on it. And you can see that here. So now I'm moving on to stringing my beads and I just secured, a, a pulled out a good amount of string or twine and then went ahead and tied on the mug shape that was cut out of wood onto the tassel that didn't have any additional ribbon on it and then started stringing my beads. Again, I put them on in a pattern, one pink, one blue, one beige and just kept going this way um, until I got to the end. You'll see though, I actually ended up doing it where I had a few extra natural beads in between and you will see that at the very end here how I actually did the pattern with my tassel. You can do your beads for any length that you want. You can do any color combination or any style and you can even purchase felt beads and string them onto your twine as well. I just really liked this look and this pattern and I did my beads about 18 inches long. You can certainly do longer. I've had longer strands in my home but for me this was just the right amount of length to kind of wrap around any kind of bottle or home decor piece and display them around my home. I really, really love the way that these turned out. I think they are super cute and I even thought about adding these to my Etsy shop. So if I do, I will leave a link down below and let you guys uh, check that out. So if you wanna purchase them, you can. And you can also find the full tutorial on my blog, craftylifemom.com if you wanna learn how to make these yourself. And that's pretty much it. I think they are super cute for these two DIYs. I really love how they turned out. I love the red with the pink and then the little bit of blue and the natural wood color as well. I think it is super adorable and I will have a lot of fun displaying these around my home this year for the Valentine's season. Make sure that you hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time on CraftyLifeMom.com. Bye!